Hello everyone, this is Joe again from Daily Coin. In today's video, we are going to cover a new topic, which is the top-down analysis. Before starting this, please do not forget to like and share our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's go to the chart to start our lesson. So what is a top-down approach or analysis? First, let me say something here that most of the beginners or even intermediate traders struggle to find the best time frame to use depending on their trading style. So what I will do is I will explain first what is the top-down approach and tell you what is the best time frame for your trading style. Top-down approach involves using two different time frames, a higher one and a lower time frame. Why we need to use two different time frames? The higher time frame, you will use it to know what is the bigger picture, or in another word, what is the direction of the trend? Are we in an uptrend or a downtrend? You can know what is the momentum, is it positive, negative? This is really essential. So the bigger or the higher time frame is for the bigger picture. It's like zooming out to know what is the direction. And we will use the lower time frame for execution and to know when is the best time to trade or open a position. So I will put here, let's say high time frame for bigger picture and the lower time frame for execution. Whenever you open the graph of the asset that you need to analyze, use the higher time frame first, see if you are an uptrend or a downtrend, and then go for the lower time frame for execution and opening the trade. Let me give you an example here. If we look on the BTC USDT, what I will do first is I will pick as the higher time frame, the daily one. I will tell you why daily time frame later in this video. So our higher time frame is the daily one. I can see that the market here is in a clear uptrend. So we have talked about how do you know if you are in an uptrend? We have higher highs and higher lows. So now, what I should consider is to buy the BTC USDT because the odds are in our favor. It is not wise to sell here. It is better to consider a buy position. So this is how the daily time frame or the higher one helped us in this trade. What I will do next is I will go on the lower time frame to see when the best time to trade or open a position. So the lower time frame it will give you the right time to buy and open the position. So here I will give you a simple example. What I will do is I will use the lower time frame to know when this correction ended. So here, as you can see, this is a correction. What I will do is I will say, oh, here, most probably this correction is ended. So it is the best time to buy because we have a strong support based on the four hour time frame. So here, this time frame gave me the answer that this is the right time to buy because most probably the market will rally from here. And if I press the play button here, we can see that the market rallied and made higher highs and lows on the lower time frame. So I will repeat. First, I used the higher time frame to know what is the direction, what is the momentum, and then went on the lower time frame for execution to know when is the best time to buy this asset and open a position here. It was around this level here. So now we will go to help you how to pick the right time frame depending on your trading style. We have three different types of traders. We have scalpers, scalpers, 
and we have day traders, day traders, and swing traders. Me, I am a swing trader. That means my trading idea lasts between few hours to few to few days. I use as a higher time frame the daily one. So here I will put higher time frame. As a swing trader, I use the daily time frame and lower time frame. I use the four hour. This is as a swing trader. When it comes to day traders, their trading ideas doesn't last more than the end of the day. So at the end of the day, they should close all their trading ideas or positions. And when it comes to the higher time frame, they use the one hour time frame and the five minute when it comes to the lower one. When it comes to the to the scalpers, they use as the higher time frame 15 minutes and one minute for execution and opening the trade. So this is how you should pick your time frames depending if you are a scalper, day trader, or swing traders. This is it, guys, for our uh, today's lesson. Hope you like it. Also, thanks for your time and see you in another video.